Where are we? Moss Yard Beach. Moss Yard Beach. Oh, there's another one of those big shells. <laughs> there are a few little doggies over there. There it is off leash its owner's not really paying attention to what it's doing so we're uh, <laughs> watching it curiously although I have to say nobody's trying to go over there which is good but yeah it's beautiful here winds a bit fresh but it's nice right we found some shrimps in the rock pools already and lots of beautiful shells, which we'll leave here for the most part, I promise. <laughs> Maybe take one. Hang on, guys. Well, once over there when she's got uh, when she's got a little doggy back. Ooh. Deeper than I thought that that pool. It's nice and clean. There's no litter. Yeah. Do you want to go swimming, Faye? Put your long line on. Maybe in a bit. Okay. You mean while there's not that little dog off leash running around with with no control? <laughs> there's two of them. Uh. I seen the white one, I didn't realise there was another one. Yeah, but that one's under a bit more control over there. The other one seems to be um kind of doing as it's told. Which is good, isn't it guys? You're not really that interested, are they? Well, should we head up and over or should we just cut across? Put the shell back. Oh, do I hear a big dog bark? Oh, don't know. Come then. Um, let me go first. <clears throat> so the reason I'm going first. Oh, look at what are you doing. Oh, hush. come on. No, bird pool. Right, the reason I'll go first is because um, Ash is actually really good with other dogs. <laughs> so I'll just go lead the way and then uh, they can follow. Oh, it is deeper than I was expecting. Come oh, on. Sorry, darling. You what? I can't tell what you're saying. That lovely little dog. That little dog over there is paying lots of attention to his owner. Unlike Ash, who's just splashing around, having the time of his life. Let's go and explore some more rock pools.
Hello, handsome. Look at these rock pools. This one's got like a little seat in it. <laughs> maybe, maybe two. Yeah. He's like, why can't I drink this? He's so disappointed. He's disappointed that you can't drink it. Damn. Don't drink it. <laughs> you will have a poorly belly. You have a look, Faye. The Lion King, pair of you. Andy, what are you doing? Oh, she'll just pull it round. <laughs> Faye's going, I'm going to make it worse. I'm going to make the situation worse. Well, if you just dropped it and let her pull it round instead of hanging onto it for dear life, well, just drop it and then pull it round. Oh my God. He's so worried that they're going to run away. And clearly neither of them are making any effort to go anywhere. It's just flimsy plastic long lines so you can keep an eye on them in case another dog comes. You could just drop it. He's not dropping it. Not for love nor money, are you? Huh? <laughs> oh, babies. That's just like, I'm going. Mum's not stupid enough to hang on to mine. What you see, Ash? Good stuff. You come be there, Fofty. Come on, baby. Come on. Good boy. Come round the top. Like the little goat that you are. Come on. Whoop, whoop. Come on, goat. Come on. Come on. I've got any treats on me and he knows I have. So you have to rattle some around. Come on. I'm going to stop the video so I can take some photographs of him stood there. Got stuck on a rock. Look at Faye. Faye's like proper sunbathing. <laughs> a bed of seaweed. She had a bed of seaweed. Is that good? Yeah. She's doing her best seal impression. <laughs> on, a, on a bed of seaweed. Are you worn out, Faye? Is this holiday exhausting? Apparently, he is as well. 
Are you worn out? Is your holiday, are you a dead seal as well? Is your holiday exhausting? Yeah. I have you. Yeah. It's exhausting this holiday in. The wind suck, Dad, up there. Look at her. I can't get over Faye. She's being hilarious. Fofty bomb. Hi. So cute. See an enemy? Touch it, Dad. Go on, Andy. I'm alright, thank you. Oh, he won't hurt you. I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> Let me show you. away from you we just ate out well I'm still eating my lunch the dogs are still asleep <laughs> we've apparently completely worn out the dogs <laughs> and I found a staff I need to show everyone the staff sorry I'm eating look I have found a magic staff. Tell me that's not a real staff. <laughs> Amazing. That is definitely coming home. I'm going to make a real staff out of that. And he took some pictures of me and um, Ash up on the rocks with the staff. Look at these dogs. <laughs> take, take your wolf dogs on holiday, Dad. <laughs> They'll have loads of energy, Dad. Not. I feel like we're just dragging them around at this point. But never mind. We've come to have a look in these rock pools. Found a sea anemone. We found a crab, but he was very tiny. Yes. <laughs> we have found some mussels, lots of mussels. We found some shrimp, didn't we? Yeah, shrimp. shrimp might be more in those little ones, but I'll have another look. And we found, what else? Sea snails. Sea snails, yeah. And a lot of seaweed. Some very sleepy dogs. At Moss Yard Beach. It is beautiful here. It's very clean. It's very beautiful. Let me zoom in on those uh, bit of hills up there. The backdrop, everything about it is stunning. Even your hat. <laughs> it's my hat. <laughs> mm. Oh, she's over there somewhere. Right, if we find anything else other than the sea and enemy to show you, I will. Back leg. Oh dear. Hang on. Mummy best rescue that, eh? Hey. <coughs> Honestly. There you go. You're free. It's only trailing on the ground. You're good to go. You don't want to go. Well that's nice. Don't get wrapped up in it again. Use the treat we call. Have a go. Okay. Come. Good 
Good job. Good job, guys. That doesn't mean as long as you're more tangled up in it than they are. But the uh, long line, I mean, like phase lines, I don't know. 20 meters, it's huge. Gives them plenty of freedom. And you can still practice recall. So, do you want to practice while he's veering off? He's already heard the rustle of the treat packet. <laughs> Good boy. Oh dear. So even the rustle brings him running back. But we still aren't going to have them completely off leash just because we don't want to terrify these lovely locals that appear to be living on this uh, hillside or, or holidaying on this hillside anyway. He doesn't want to go now because he knows. Hang on, there might be more treats in that pocket. There are, but you can run. Go play, Ash. Come on. You guys are doing great. And Ash is putting weight back on. After his recent holiness, he's gaining weight again pretty quickly. We're quite happy. Oh, he had gastroenteritis last week, for those that don't know. And um, he lost quite a lot of weight, but he is putting it back on very quickly. Thank goodness. We think they're like little mud skipper fish. They seem to be just resting on the bottom a lot. There's loads of them in there. It's hard to pick them all up on the camera, but there really is loads. It's just a little rock pool on a very glorious day. <laughs> oh, it's a doggy. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> He's on his long line. You two were on your long line. You were barely moving, so it's gone. Wow. Are you coughing? Are we heading up to the tree line? Where are we heading? Right, make a decision because you just keep walking in front of me. 
<laughs> He's trying to trip me up. Lushyard Millennium Labyrinth. The Unicursal Labyrinth was set out by the children of Mossyard in July 1999 and restored during the COVID pandemic lockdown in 2020. The McConchy family, by the McConchy family, they invite you to walk the labyrinth as people have since ancient times. The labyrinth follows the classical design. The earliest known example is to be found carved into the rock on Sardinia and thought to date from about 2500 BC, although the design is believed to be very much older. Examples have been found all over the world, from the Americas and Asia to Europe and Scandinavia. One similar to the Mossyard Labyrinth was built by a lighthouse keeper on St Agnes in the Isles of Sicily in 1729 and is still being walked by visitors to this day. Long may visitors to Mossyard enjoy this mystical design. I see it. I think I cheated. <laughs> well, look, Isabel. Gosh, be careful. Such a big lollop and lollop. Lollop and lollop knocking the stones and you've got them back. This is pretty cool. And the view is pretty awesome. Andy and Faye are still walking the lab. Are you doing it properly? I'll have a go again with Ash. He keeps knocking the stones though and I don't want him to... He's not the smartest. <laughs> not the smartest in the box. Oh, I think... Look at you, you're just, just climbing over them. How are you getting? How are you getting there? Yeah, I think you are. I think you are. Yep. 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 Oh, Faye. Don't say keep talking to her. Yay! <laughs> well done. Ash, just like, let's just walk over the mum to the middle. That's what he did. After sniffing some pee over there. After reading a pee mail down on the grass. A girl, Fofty.